Schauen wir mal weiter. Dr. Michel, Dr. Chakwas. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Sie kennen doch Joker, Dr. Chakwas. Ah, das ist Dr. Michel. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michel, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just on the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Ist klar. Gehen wir uns mal umsehen, umsehen, umschauen. Sprachfehler. so soon? Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Medigel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I... I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. 
despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Plus zwei Ruf. Wir gucken noch mal. Oh, auf falsche Seite. Ah, wir können nicht mehr rein. Okay. Admiral Stephen Hackett. Okay. Ähm, wir speichern mal. Karte. Zenlange Dr. Michel. Noch was zu sagen? Hallo, again, Commander. Hier to see our patient? How's Ashley doing? The aid drama. This okay, das hatten wir schon. Like. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Okay, wir gehen in den Ratssitz, da müssen wir eh hin. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. Be safe. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Karte, so. Fünf, Büroetage. Also links. Karte ist in zwei, okay. Wir gehen erstmal links gucken. Okay. Logbuch. Würgeschlund. Proteanischer Obelisk. Ein Volus Diplomat benötigt einen Proteanischen Obelisken. Beschaffen Sie ihn aus dem Würgeschlund und bringen Sie ihn zu ihm in die Citadel-Botschaft. Okay. Wir haben also eine, einen Nebenauftrag. Botschaft der Menschen. Hm. Sie ist der Commander Bailey. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Die schon wieder, ey. 
Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Man, guck zu. Damn, press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> It's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Ah, oh, Chimbol. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. And when Palin resisted, um, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. Emma Bailey. Ah, wo ist dieser Algilani da? Kalisa Algilani in Nummer 4. Na, reden wir nochmal kurz mit der, was die will. Da ist sie. Commander Shepard. Command Commander Shepard. Kalisa bin seen in Algilani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. We haven't always seen eye to eye. But I'm glad you're on our side. Ähm, jo. Hier speichern mal. K 
Karte. So, jetzt gehen wir mal bei Bailey. Waren wir drei Beziehungsberufe für Spectre ausrüsten. Gehen wir auf jeden Fall hin. Wir müssen ja eigentlich noch Spectre sein. Sind wir noch Spectre? Ich weiß das gar nicht. Wahrscheinlich nicht mehr. Donald Odina. Jo, Spectre. Wir sind immer noch Spectre. Spectre Terminal. Willkommen. Willkommen im Spectre Informationsverarbeitungszentrum. Dieses Terminal bietet sich an Zugriff auf Informationen und Unterstützung bei der Autorisierung von Geheimoperationen oder Requirierungen. Die Benutzung ist nur Agenten gestattet, die derzeit bei Special Tactics and Reconnaissance im aktiven Dienst stehen. Für alle Vorgänge, die eine Bezahlung erfordern, verwenden Sie bitte nebenstehendes Terminal, das finanzielle Transaktionen sicher und nicht zurückverfolgbar durchführt. Informationen über die Quarianische Flotte. Die koreanische Pilgerin Jen Volan Nanima auf der Citadel erhielt eine größere Geldanweisung von der Flotte. Jen Volan kaufte dafür Tech bei mehreren Schiffsbedarfshändlern, darunter Gestelle für Hochleistungswaffen und Emitter für kinetische Barrieren. Auf eben hat sich ein anderer nicht identifizierter koreanischer Pilger nach einer Schiffspassage in die Nähe des Perseus-Nebels erkundigt. Später soll er gesagt haben, seine Pilgerreise sei abgebrochen worden. Die Daten legen den Schluss nahe, dass die koreanische Flotte ihre Pilger einberuft und Schiffe für einen Kampf irgendwo in der Nähe des Perseus-Nebels aufrüstet. Das könnte eine Reaktion auf die Reaper-Invasion sein, aber es liegt weder ein Angebot noch eine Anfrage bezüglich Unterstützung vor. Die Informationen deuten darauf hin, dass die Quarianer sich vielmehr auf einen Konflikt mit den Geff vorbereiten. Da war so klar. Black Widow. Ref Paladin. Die hätte ich gerne. 250.000, aber natürlich noch nicht genug Kohle für. Mhm. Guck mal hier. Schießanlage betreten? Ja, warum nicht? Aha. Was haben wir denn hier? Waffenmodstation. Welche war neu? Ach, die Vindicator. Modifizieren. Erhöht den Schaden um 5%. Erhöht Schaden um 15%. Und den Schaden. Und mal das. Und das. Haben wir hier? Die Shuriken, okay. Achso, Pistole. Weg. Braucht keine Pistole. Ja. Ganz da hinten, bitte. Wir wollen mal schauen. Na gut, ähm. Haben wir haben aber keine Waffenmods, okay. Dann gehen wir mal wieder raus.
Gehen wir schlussendlich in Udinas Büro, wo wir eh rein müssen. Commander, Councilor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councilor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors. We have that plan, a blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, He's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider Adi. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primark Fedorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime.
See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Okay. Well, do you know? He gets lost. What do you get it on? Wir reden mal mit Udina. The Council. You saved their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. In Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. I should go. I'll be here. Okay, hmm, guck mal, Logbuch. Friotel, Palavan, Würgeschlund, Protean, Schaubelisk. Okay. Markieren da mal als gelesen. Wie immer machen wir natürlich erst die Nebenaufträge und DLCs und dann immer erst die Hauptaufträge. So, gucken wir mal. Karte. Huerta Krankenhaus. Ja. Zack, zack, zack. Na, guck mal, da steht James. Moment, Karte. James, okay. Ashley, Dr. Michelle, und hier? Wir reden mit James, natürlich. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. 
I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Jo, Gruppe. Unser Ruf steigt. Karte. Huerta Krankenhaus, Hitter der Botschaft, Normandy Dog. Okay. One moment, please. One moment, please. So. 